Greetings, family. This is Bomani Tayemba, and I'm here with Yakisha. How are you doing today on this beautiful day? I'm doing great, Bomani. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh, we have a wonderful treat for the folks today, and uh, you're going to be our expert on sharing this wonderful uh, advice as far as uh, what we talk about today, foreplay, love, and compatibility. Okay. I don't know about being an expert, but I'll try to give as much insight as possible. Excellent. I got some wonderful questions for you. Are you ready to get into it and share with the people um, you know, your flow of how you look at things? Sure. Let's dive in. All right. Now, what is the importance of being compatible with your mate? Yeah, well, I look at it like one um, on a job interview. And you submit your resume, the employer looks at your resume. Um, they're checking to see if you have the correct skill set. Um, they're trying to see if you have previous experience. They're basically trying to check and see if you have, you're a good fit for their position. So it's the same thing in a relationship. You want to, that's why it's important to communicate. You want to talk to the individual, see their likes, their dislikes. Um, just learn more about a person before you begin to become physical like most people do. You know, they want to jump in the sack. <laughs> they want to go joyride and they want to test it out. So you want to make sure that you understand what you're getting yourself into when you, you're dating people. Yeah, exactly. And that's what I was asking about the, the, the uh, compatible part of it. Cause you know, we see people connecting, hooking up and doing all kinds of things, but are they truly compatible or people just, you know, want to be with someone and, uh, and, you know, and I guess different people have different situations. Yeah. I, and, and that is true because it depends on a person's situation. If a person just want to have a good time and they just want to have fun, then that's pretty much all you're going to get out of their relationship. And so, there again, asking those questions in the beginning, in the beginning is very pertinent to whether the, if you're going to have a relationship or you're going to have a fling or what have you. So it's very important for us to have open communication with each other and not be afraid to ask those questions. Um, ask a person what their favorite food is. Ask a person what kind of music they like. You know, little things that we do when we're in high school. You know, how you write the note and you say, um, I like you, do you like me, that type of stuff. <laughs> I don't know, I was born, you know, in the late 70s, you know. So that's kind of the era that we, we were in, so. That's what's up, you're so, in the, the Bob Marley Love and Revolution era. Yeah, we do the little love letters, you know, in the classroom, the little paper love letters, and you slide it over, and you have the little boxes, and you check the box off. So I know a lot of people can identify with That's just so but, <laughs> but being compatible with someone is very important because, uh, and it depends on uh, the particular age, whatever your age is, um, whatever your likes and your dislikes are. Uh, you need to know yourself first and that's number one know thyself know yourself first know what it is that you want know what it is what you like and know that you're actually ready to be in a relationship if you're not ready to be in a relationship then you should make that clear up front however in saying that that does not mean that you should lead a person on emotionally uh, when you're with them because some people will uh, give with an individual and say I like them but they're actually they're playing on their emotions uh, they'll say well I just got out of a, a previous relationship and I'm not up for anything serious but they want you to do all these different things that you would do with someone in a relationship uh, whether it be physical, emotional, what have you, financially. So you're doing all of these relationship things, but you're saying that you're not ready for a relationship. What it is that you're actually ready for? <laughs> you know, that's the question. What are you ready for? Is it kind of like um, um, a lady doing the wife duties and, and she's not the wife? I, I mean, exactly. I mean, it's like, what gives? 
I mean, why go through all of that? Why do all of that if if you don't have intentions on solidifying that relationship? If you're not trying to seal that relationship, if you're not dating with intentions, true intentions and purpose, then you're wasting your time and you're wasting that other person's time. Because many people get in relationships and one person is actually in a relationship, but the other person isn't in the relationship. But that's that's they still together. They, you know, they 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 going out, they going on dates, they, you know, they having sex, they, you know, they're doing all the things that people do when they're in a relationship with someone. So I, I guess we'll have to start actually identifying uh and defining what we actually think a relationship is. What is a relationship to us? Excellent, Dad. That's uh, that's a good uh, thing to deal with. Um, you you want to share your definitions, and there's probably all different kind of definitions as we talk about uh, people in com- you know, the committed relationship, open relationship, all kind of different things. Well, you know, you got you got different type of relationships. You got the casual relationship, casual sex. We just meet up. We just have sex. Period. No emotions. No nothing attached. You know, you don't need to know anything about my family. I don't need to know anything about your family. We don't need to know anything in depth personal. Okay. Then you have that tricky relationship where you have one person who thinks that they're in a relationship and they're sharing themselves and they're giving of themselves. However, that other person, they are only halfway in. You know, they'll go out, they'll spend time with you but they're not going to emotionally attach themselves to you. They're not going to connect with you. You know, anytime when you start trying to uh, get closer to them, they pull away. They, they back up. They don't want to have that discussion, that in-depth discussion. So that relationship you want to be very, very careful about because many of us find ourselves in that type of relationship where you're more involved in the relationship than the other person that you're with. <laughs> uh, and then you have your uh, actually individuals who want to be in a relationship with each other. You have those. Now those you would know because the two individuals will have conversations about their likes, their dislikes. Uh, both will be interested in what the other person hobbies are, their interests are, what they like, dislike. They will ask you about your different goals in life. They will try to become a part of your life. You understand? They will um, not necessarily just talk about marriage up front, but they want to get to know you as an individual. Uh, many people, when they're not concerned with uh, having a relationship with you, they're not trying to become a part of your life or is merging together with you and doing cohabitating and doing some things together. They're not trying to do that. It's more like they just want to hit it and quit it. They want to step in for a minute, have a good fun, enjoy the ride for a second. And then when they're done, they take the seatbelt off and then they, they keep it moving. Yeah, no, no strings, no strings attached. No strings attached whatsoever. It's like, hey, you know, I don't want to do that. But yeah, when you're, and I think we need to get to dating with intentions, uh, dating with purpose. Perfect. So, Perfect. you know, know that when you're, when you're with the person, whoever the person that you're with, know that this is the person that you're with and you're intentionally trying to uh, have a successful relationship with that person. And when I'm saying it's successful, what I mean is, is that, I am an active participant in the relationship. Mm-hmm. I am I am intentively paying attention to you. I am giving you my undivided attention. I am concerned about your well-being. I am concerned about your career. I am concerned about every aspect of that individual. Because in the end, you and that individual decide to get married then you all merging together in life, unity. Uh, and you know, I'm a in, 
I believe in nation building. So if we're going to build nations, then we need to date intentionally. Not, not like uh, we just moving on instinct, like we have no feelings, no emotions. No, we need to, we are beings. Uh, first of all, we're spiritual beings, so we need to operate as such. Um, but uh, I don't want to go too, too far in depth with them. <laughs> and that's perfect. And that's a perfect setup for the next thing that, you know, we're going to talk to, talk about. Uh, we know we're talking about relationships and dating. Now, yeah. how do we even get to, you know, get, what about the, the sequence that happened before then? So uh, well, how do we go about meeting the right people or the right person to build a long-term relationship? Now, well, you know, we're talking about the meeting part now. The meeting part, wow. Well, let's see. Stepping back a little bit, family. People meet in all different places, different types of places. I mean, you can... You get well, well, I don't know about the nightclub because you can meet somebody in the nightclub, but you, you have to be very, very careful because a lot of individuals in the nightlife, they, they're not looking for anything wrong. Many people go in there, they, they're uh, trying to deal with the week they just had or the day they just had, and they just trying to dance, have a good time, drink, eat, socialize, you know, it's that nightlife, you know, nothing serious, hey, we're just having a good time, you know, fist pump, you know, all that type of stuff. But. That's, that's, <laughs> that's the setup for the world of uh, booty calls and one night stands. Yeah, exactly, exactly, you said it, you said it, you know, this, it, it, it's a lot of, uh, you know, kitty quick, you know, yeah, that, that's pretty much what it is. What about church? Uh, well, people uh, <laughs> church or the mosque or you know sure. somewhere religious. Uh, well, you can meet people. You seriously, you can meet people anywhere. However, everybody needs to go through the same screening process. We need to have a screening process when we are looking for a long-term relationship. And again, that is knowing thyself first. I'm always going back to self because you have to make sure that. You are psychologically, emotionally intact. Make sure that your baggage is gone. You know, and when I'm saying baggage, I'm not necessarily talking about um, things like for is um, bills. I'm not talking about that. That's a part of it, but that that comes later. I'm talking about you, your psyche, your mind, your heart. Your, your, your soul, everything that has to do with you as a being. Are you whole? Are you secure within yourself? Are you intact? Uh, because it's a holistic thing. If you're not intact, if you're not taking care of yourself, uh, you're going to be hurting other people. And see, hurt people tend to hurt other people. You know, like they say, misery loves company. So, you know, I'm miserable within myself and things are not working out for me and i haven't dealt with my previous situation so everybody else that i get with or i come in contact with uh, i'm going to give them a hard time you know so that's what the attitude was some of us have um have adopted because we go into that survival of the fetish where um if i can't beat you then I'll join you <laughs> in the day. So, you know, since I, I, I can't seem to find a good relationship, they seem not to be good men out there, or they seem not to be good women out there. Well, hell, I'm just going to be that other person. You know? yeah. Like some people are, are the side piece. Yeah, you know, I'm, you know, I'm going to be the side piece, or I'm going to be the uh, clean-up woman. That's the old school song. The clean-up woman? Yeah, I'm going to be clean-up woman. Or, or, or what they call uh, the famous words, a uh, home wrecker. Yeah, the home wrecker. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, or, or my my favorite new song, you know, I that song that, um, yeah, it really bothers me, but you know, L.A. sings about having the gentleman on the weekend. She can, you know, you can take him the other days of the week, but I got him on the weekend. Oh, and, man, that's all. Yeah, that, that's, uh, yeah. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like that song, but you know, it's neither here or there. Yeah, you know, it's, just my, it's just my opinion. 
but this this is the side chick uh, uh, century. <laughs> yes, I, I mean they, they like the side have, chick, uh, century. Yeah, they have these videos for for how to be the perfect side chick. It's like <laughs> what gives? Are you serious? How to be the perfect side chick? I remember in the twentieth century, it used to be about the wife, you know. Uh, Especially yeah. a, lot of, a lot of Jamaican tunes about you know women fighting to be the wife. <laughs> yeah, now no, we're gonna fight to be the side chick, you know. No, you know, it's it's okay, you know. I just take whatever you give me, whatever scraps is left, I take it, you know. And yeah, some people look at it look at it like that. I'm just taking what I can, you know, you know what's left yeah. over <laughs> or what but I can you, get. Yeah, you know, you hear some say, it's "Well, you know, self-esteem to the highest level." Yeah, I, I, eh, yeah, it is. I mean, sadly, it is. Um, some may beg to differ, but um, you know, I love myself, and I, I'm not settling. I refuse to settle, and and there is no such thing as there is a shortage of uh, black men. I can only speak for you know in regards to black men because you know I'm a black woman. So you know, I refuse to believe in the myth. I think it's a myth. I do. Uh, that there is a shortage of black men. No, there is not. No, there is not at all. It just all depends on what we like, what we want. It just all depends. And it depends on your hanging spot. Like, where are you going to meet people? Are you and are you a approachable? Can a man approach you as a woman? Can he? Um, or you're, you know, you're this mad angry black woman you know you want to tear everybody's head off you know when they see you. you know so you know it's just a lot that goes into that i mean you can meet people at church you can meet people at the club you can meet people hey how about going to barnes and noble i'm not trying to sponsor them but i'm just saying how about going to the bookstore yeah, how about going, going to the library you know how about you know you know Joining a club, um, it can be a meet and greet club. It can be a whatever your. I know one way of finding people that you can be compatible with is join in a club of the same like. Whatever club that you, uh, hobbies that you have, interests that you have, you join that particular club with different people. You know, in that club, uh, whether it may be uh, music, uh, you like poetry or what, whatever interest that you have, exactly. find you a social club. Exactly, I myself like to travel, so you know. Yeah, or find you, you know, somebody that loves to travel, you like to travel. You need interesting people. Yeah, you know, so, you know, it just, it just all depends on the individual, you know, like I said, it all starts with you first. Once you get yourself together, you make sure, and there's nothing like, uh, meeting someone who is very confident about themselves. You can tell a confident individual when you see them. You can tell. I mean, the way they, their presence, when they walk in the room, um, the way they look, the way they hold their head, their posture, everything shows you that that person is secure within themselves. They're confident about themselves. They love themselves. And you will find out that when you have a conversation with that person, that um, they're not gonna take anything off of you either. So <laughs> that person is not gonna let you treat them any kind of way because they love themselves. When you meet people that love themselves, uh, you can rest assured that they love you too. I'm not talking about arrogance. I'm not talking about you know people who tend to have this type of notion that they are um, better than others. I'm not talking about that person. I'm talking about people who are actually whole within themselves as a human being and have a general love and concern for other mankind. That's the type of individual that I'm talking about. But yeah, you can meet people anywhere. Yeah, anywhere. It doesn't matter. There is no, I mean, we meet people every day. Uh, bus stops, uh, grocery stores. I mean, anywhere. You name it, you can meet people. Absolutely. I like how you're talking about all the direct social uh, spaces. But now the, the other world before we go into the next subject is just the online meeting world. More people have these little devices in their hands, uh, phones, oh, boy. and people have different apps connecting. 
I, I heard somebody told me something about Uber age. <laughs> Uber, Uber only, and I was rolling. That does not, um, yes. then you have all, you know, you know, don't need to call out the names of, you know, all of the different things online. Yeah, but, I'm not going to call out any of these. Well, it seems to be the popular thing in the tw in this 21st century, as I talk about uh, the change and the difference between the 20th and the yeah. 21st century and relationship yeah. and love. Everyone seems to be just online. It's like everyone at least had an online profile a time or two, or probably still got it on there. Yeah, we are the uh, online generation that we are. Yeah, exactly. Like I remember Facebook came out, it, it, it gave some of the guys uh, a new aspect of like cyber pimping. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, I like that term, cyber pimping. That's funny. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we, we are in the new technology age and where um, it, it kind of takes away that, uh, that first contact with another human, when you meet someone, you you see they they facial gestures. You can kind of sort of kind of read them a little bit, but when you do like the uh, online dating apps, you can't you don't get that that same connection. And a lot of people like it because some people have problems with expressing themselves with a one on one face to face contact. So a lot of people use the social media as a, a means of being able to, uh, I don't know if I want to say hide behind it, but that's kind of what it hide behind their um, their emotions, or maybe they may have some inside uh, insecurities they may be dealing with you know, themselves. But we have to be careful with that because you can get uh, catfish. If anybody knows what that is. Why knew you were going to say that? <laughs> exactly. It's like, uh, you know, uh, someone using your sister's uh, picture and then saying exactly. you know, <laughs> all kind of madness. And, and uh, as we talk about that now, um, let's uh, move to the next seg segment of what I had was, um, now, once people are in relationships and they're connecting and they're, they're, they're linking together and doing all those things, when do people know that they're in love? Well, you might want to ask the question because uh, everybody has a different definition of love. Uh, so it all depends on what somebody's definition of love is. However, when it comes to love, love is a, it's a complicated. Yeah, cause you, have, you have some people that meet you in 24 hours. I love you. I love you. I love you. Yeah. Well, some, you know, I love you a long time. <laughs> Love you, love that. Oh, okay, then. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's hilarious. But you know, you get different types of love. A person can be infatuated with you. They love your personality. They love. Uh, they love your character. They they love your the journey that you're on in your life. Uh, they they may love your money. <laughs> Oh, it makes love different um, aspects of you. Uh, so uh, that is different from actually being in a relationship with someone and you're actually telling that person that you love them. That, now, that's different. Uh, you, you got your brotherly love. You got your, your friendship love, your friend love. You know, you got your, uh, your exotic love. So, you know, it, it just all depends on what stage you are in that particular relationship. But generally, when we first meet people, uh, there's a few things that draws us to the individual. Uh, it could be, um, well, number one, it's going to be physical because we are, <laughs> we got eyes. So things that are appealing to us, we're attracted to them, okay? So... <laughs> Let's not get it twisted. Looks are not everything. Uh, it might not be everything, but it is a part of it. So, yeah. You know, but besides the uh, uh, physical, um, then there is another connection which can be for as a person's career. Something that the person is doing in their life that other person may be attracted to it. Um, 
It could be how that person carries themselves. Like I said, confidence is everything. When a person see how confident you are, how you carry yourself, they can be attracted to that. They can be attracted to uh, you have certain leadership skills or qualities. People are attracted to so many different things. I mean, you can be you can be a um, a criminal. If a person had, <laughs> I'm just I'm just using this as an example, you know. It, uh, you know, like they talk about the bad boy. You know, you got some bad girls. So some people are attracted to that. So it just all depends. Now let's get back to for us how you know when you're actually in love with someone. Well, you know when people that are in love. Sometimes they tend to, to already know what the other person is thinking. Um, they can be thinking about that other person. Y'all could be thinking about each other and then a text will come through or you'll receive a phone call. It's, it's, it's kind of sort of like a teleport. You're not communicating with each other like without even saying words. Um, it's, it's a beautiful thing and, and a lot of times it's when you're falling in love with somebody, it becomes unexplainable. You really can't explain the indefinite of your love for that person. So it's not it's not really words for how you feel about that person. Your your heart begins to feel some type of way when you're around that person. You become like alive. You know, they like, you know. You know, I don't know, you just like get a surge of like energy when that person comes around because you begin you have begin to join forces together. You're connecting one of the highest connections is spiritual connection. You connect with somebody on a spiritual level, I mean that is very, very deep, very in depth, and you begin to it's like you all are forces together communicating communicating together without even saying anything, without even speaking. That's powerful. And, yeah, and, and sometimes you all can, you can read each other's mind. You can, you can sit beside each other and be vibing off of each other. You know, you both of all, you're gaining energy from each other. And you look at each other and, you know, it's like, okay, so what are we going to say next? What are we going to do next? <laughs> Because you're like, you're the whole time, you like vibe, you like looking at each other, and it's like, man, this is so, this is awesome, this is what mm. I'm Awesome, yes. You tend to be, you tend to be a, 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 a loss for words when you begin to fall in love with somebody, because you just, man, it's more like, you, it, not necessarily, it's not you saying, I love you. That's not it. People say, I love you all the time when they, they, uh, they want to get something from you, you know. If people know that they can get something out of you by saying "I love you," these days everybody say "I love you." Everybody, you know. <laughs> Absolutely, like I'm always telling my joke, like uh, when you when you get to when you go to Ghana, you might have about ten proposal with guys saying that <laughs> guys saying that they love you just met you for about five seconds ago. <laughs> they don't even know your middle name. When is my middle name? I don't even know your middle name, and they're talking about, you know, I love you, I'm in love with you, you know, so, but, you know, when you're in love with somebody, you know, you know, I mean, you can't stop thinking about that person, you want to talk to that person, you want to be with that person, you want to share your, your highlights of your day with that person, you even want to contact them when you're having a bad day, especially when you're having a bad day, because you need that support. So you, you always want that person in your in your in your space. When you let people in your personal space, that means something. You know, when you let them you let somebody in your world, that means something. You know. So but yeah. You know. You know, you get all you get all giddy and you know, people around you they'll know when when two people are together. Um, they their energies will tell off on them, even if they don't say anything to anybody else. Other people around them, they'll start picking up on their vibes. You know, 
Look at them love birds over there. You know, you don't have to speak. You don't have to tell anybody. It's just, it just flows Perfect. That is a that is a beautiful thing. Now we're gonna, as we begin to close this, close out on some other factions of what we talk about. Oh, okay. Now we talk about love relationships and all those beautiful things. Uh, why is foreplay so important in love making? Oh boy, here we go. Da -da -da -da. All right, foreplay. Well, it depends on. Foreplay. You can even define foreplay because some people got some terrible definition of foreplay. <laughs> well, foreplay is 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 pretty much you getting things it's like warming up your car in the morning before you drive it. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty much you getting things warmed up, you getting the mood set, get everything set up. It's just basically it's just caressing, touching, um, kissing, massaging, all of those sort of thing, setting stage, having a glass of wine together. Wine, one of the candles. Yeah, candles. The um, the, is, so the soul music. Yeah, the soul music, you know, all those type of things, you know, that, that's your kind of sort of your, your, your fourth name. You, know, you set the stage because- The silk, the silk, the silk sheets. Hey, yeah, all of that, you know, whatever um, makes you happy. <laughs> Whatever makes you happy. Some people do a lot of different things. Some people play with toys, handcuffs. Um, 60, some, 60, 69, mutual pleasure. I mean, yeah, I mean, some people do a lot of different things. Some people have body art. Uh, they, they do a lot of different things they, they do to um, play with each other. And, you know, and it, it, it sets the mood, it sets the tone, and it even can start before you even get to the bedroom. Say a a um, nice dinner at a restaurant. I mean, a nice restaurant. I'm not talking about going to Burger King. I don't know. I'm not talking about going to Burger King. <laughs> I'm talking about a nice, classy restaurant. You know, you two sit down, you have a lovely restaurant. You know, you talking to each other, you all kind of giving each other that eye when you get to, you know how you. You give a person that you into, you give them that eye, be like, you know, baby, I'm feeling you. You know, both of you looking good. You giving each other compliments. You know, baby, you sure look good tonight. And you you set the stage before you get to the house. I like that. I like that where you're setting the stage, right? You know, or if we don't, we don't yeah. get home and you know, Bomani got the, the the apron on and he's in the the, the kitchen meistering it up. <laughs> you know, or or you know the um. Man or woman, and cook at home. You guys, you all cooking in the kitchen together. I think that's very sexy. Y'all cooking together. You know, you feeding each other. You know, you know that all sets the tone for the night. That's what I'm talking about. I seem like you're an expert at this. And no, I don't know anything about an expert, but you know, I do know something about setting setting it right, getting it right for the night. <laughs> I was expert, but you know, set the stage. You know, set, set you know. the stage for the for the uh, passion that's uh, coming. You know, later. Yeah. So. There, there you go. You know exactly. You know what I mean. And the person yeah, who yeah. have home court advantage, you know, they get a chance to really organize as they need. Yeah. You know, I mean, and then you put you put thought and you put time into it. It's not something that you just you know when you do a booty call, you don't do all of it. Booty call, this is unnecessary. You don't need to do it. Because you and that other person understands what this is all about and you're gonna go ahead and do what you have to do. Even if you do do a little foreplay, you know, it may be a kiss, kiss, touch, touch, and then, you know, you're doing your business. You know, but when you're in love with somebody or you're in a committed relationship, you put more time and effort into that individual. Exactly, you know, it's you know, it's like it's like creating a masterpiece versus yes. versus just you know the alternative. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, it's, 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 it's a beautiful thing. It's yeah, a beautiful thing. When, you, when you talk about love, romance, and everything, you know, you know, it's, it's the fine tuning of, of things. Yeah. You know? every, yeah. little, every little setup from you know from inside outside, and yeah. you know, these are the things that you know are called the lost art form. You know, I thought about coming back out of retirement and. Uh, and, and and teaching you know and teaching some of these 
young, young, young fools out of now romance the ladies and uh, and get in uh, and 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 you know and get them ready for nation building. You know? Yeah, I mean, we most definitely got to get back to. Maybe you and I got to do some some joint courses. You know? Of course, of course. And yeah, maybe, we most... and, and maybe do some videos, other videos. Yeah, I mean, we we can do that. We most definitely can do that because I'm all about um, sharing with my people, especially when we're going to be talking about nation building. If we're going to be nation building, if we are nation building, and we need to um, we need to get back to love and respect of one another. Um, it's uh, male and female co-companions on this earth. You know that that respect needs to be there. I mean, we need to check ourselves on that, but you know, that's a that's a whole other <laughs> video on that. But yeah, so. that, that is yeah, absolutely yeah. Love yeah. romance, like I talk about love and revolution. What what uh, what two greater cause? Oh yeah. yeah. Which equals nation building. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Standing up for what you believe in, and you know, when you when you put love, love is the the love is the most powerful weapon in the world. You know, they say love conquers all. Yeah, I mean, it, it conquers all and it covers all, too. I mean, it, <laughs> love, love made people do some crazy things. <laughs> Wonderful yeah. episode, like this, uh, seven hours of intense love making. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's very intense, man. That's. <laughs> That's kind of sort of like this out of this world type thing. You're playing some Max, Ma Maxwell and uh, rocking and, until the cops come knocking. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to poetic uh, lyrics. But yeah, I mean, um, just being, being in, uh, ultimately just being in love is just, it's just a big thing. Um, but you have to be in love with yourself first. No. Again, I'm always going back to self. You gotta get yourself in check, love yourself first before you know you can invite somebody else into your life because you know quite naturally that's how it starts with self. That's what's up. Uh, you like you're blown. You don't you don't, you don't, you don't stop smiling because like, <laughs> like, it's, like, it's like it's like eye contact. Oh, okay. The, the flow of energy. Yeah, yeah. I try to stay vibrating on the high frequency. Excellent, excellent. Is there anything else you know you want to talk or add to what we talk about before we close? Uh, and well, know, on this nice yes. after dark session. <laughs> no, I don't have anything. Um, well, I guess I can say that I just want all my people. I love all of my people. When I say my people, I'm talking about my melanated chocolate mocha. Latte, all of my beautiful brothers and sisters, I love all of you all. And let's get back to loving one another. Women, men, love each other, respect each other, and let's join together and unite together. Because remember, united we stand, divided we fall. So let's get back to it. Love, revolution. Take it to the next level. The world is ours. Absolutely, family. It is all about nation building, man, woman, and child. The, the Trinity, the Holy Trinity, we call it. Exactly. This, this is not a Mason sign. It's uh, the Holy Trinity. You know, <laughs> for those who are confused and lost in the world of essence of things. But exactly. that's what we're talking about, family. We're talking about us getting back to the essence and uh, yes. taking it to that whole different level. And Most yes, Shakisha, we appreciate your energy and we're going to see your fabulous self in Ghana. Yes, I'm I can't I'm wait. Gonna a, I'm going to have to get a security force to keep the guys off you. <laughs> no need. It's okay. <laughs> no need. <laughs> but yes, uh, beautiful, smiling, glowing, fine Yakisha. We will connect next time as uh, we resume family on another wonderful after dark session with Bomani Tayemba. Most definitely. Take care. <laughs>